A good sermon preaks, uh, a good sermon speaks to head and heart. If it's all cognitive and not uh, affective, doesn't engage the heart, then um, it's a, it's a dry sermon. <laughs> if it's all if it if it's all uh, intuitive uh, and affective, speaks to the heart, doesn't engage the head, then it's a mindless sermon. And Jesus said, "Love the Lord your God with all your heart, all of your soul." all of your mind, all of your strength. So good preaching uh, is comprehensive in that way. Um, uh, it engages all aspects uh, of our humanity as, as a whole. Um, some preaching will be more cerebral than, than, than others, depending on what you're trying to do that, that particular day. Um, um, but uh, uh, that, that's part of what makes a good sermon for me. Um, a good sermon engages the world. It engages context, and it engages text. A good sermon is creative and imaginative with text while respecting the ancient text. Um, so it walks the line between like a good jazz musician a good, a good jazz musician operating in a kind of um, uh, world of improvisation. There's an improvisational character to good jazz music. There's an improvisational character to good preaching. It bends the note. It bends the text. But it does not break the note. It does not break the text. It respects the text. And sometimes it argues with the text and is honest about that. And, uh, you asked me earlier about, we were, we were speaking earlier about the Old Testament. One of the things that you have to do with some of the Old Testament texts that may be problematic for us, uh, that uh, challenge our sensibilities about violence, about uh, issues of, of justice, gender justice, uh, for example, uh, sometimes you have to argue with the text, uh, preach against the text uh, as you attempt to engage uh, the text, recognizing uh, that we read the text uh, in order to listen for the word of God.